Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another Firewall Ultra topic video. As you probably know by now, Firewall Ultra was revealed last month alongside a ton of good news like dedicated servers, rounds being added to the game, eye tracking with foveated rendering, finger tracking and more. Among all this good news, there was one area of concern however, and this has gone on to become the spicy topic of Firewall Ultra post reveal. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. With a lot of arguments going one way and the other, so I thought it would be best to make a video dedicated to this topic. I am, of course, talking about Firewall Ultra only having support for the new PSVR 2 Sense controllers and there not being a real replacement for the AIM controllers that we all fell in love with in Firewall Zero Hour. Is this good? Is this bad? What are the benefits? What are the drawbacks? Let's try to answer these questions. So if we go back in time a little bit, when Firewall Zero Hour launched, the AIM controller had already been out for over a year at that point. It launched with the beloved PS Viewer game Farpoint, and it was also developed alongside that game by Sony and Impulse Gear, and they of course are the studio who was behind Farpoint. Before the AIM controller, for full motion controls on PS Viewer 1, you had to rely on the Move controllers, but the beauty of the aim is that it added those analog sticks that were sorely missing on the moves. This meant you had all the benefits of a glowing ball tracked controller and a superior method of locomotion in the games that supported it. Firewall and many other PS Viewer games supported the DualShock 4 also, which could be tracked thanks to its light bar. However, you had to hold the DualShock as if you were aiming a gun and it never really felt very natural. Ask any Firewall player and they'll tell you that the aim controller is the way to go. This was the aim controller's other killer feature. Not only did it provide the analog sticks, but also, because of its design, it did a great job of mimicking the feel of holding a two-handed weapon. With Firewall Ultra supporting the new Sense controllers, there's a real fear here that it won't feel as good to play as Firewall Zero Hour did. But are we judging it too quickly by saying that? Let's take a look at the Sense controllers to see what they offer. The Sense controllers are the successors to the Move controllers. Unlike the Move controllers, the Sense controllers will have analog sticks, so locomotion will be as easy as it was with the name controller. Next up, let's talk about tracking. The PSVR 2 features inside out tracking, with the cameras built into the PSVR 2 headset, tracking multiple infrared LEDs on the Sense controllers. Compare this with the PSVR 1's light based tracking, which required the player to stand in view of a stationary camera at all times. It's safe to say that the tracking of the Sense controllers will be vastly superior to the often unreliable tracking of the PSVR 1. As good as the aim controller was, it did suffer from the dreaded drifting from time to time. And was prone to interference. With the sense controllers, you also won't need to fear moving around too much in the real world. The sense controllers will also be packed with other intriguing tech. The haptic feedback and adaptive triggers of the dual sense controller have been brought to the sense controllers also. This should not only give the player more nuanced feedback, but also help make the guns of Firewall Ultra feel more distinct based on them having their own unique breakpoints on the triggers. Well, that is speculation, depending on whether First Contact Entertainment include that, but I suspect they will. Finger detection is also included with the sense controllers and we've already seen an example of this feature being used in the latest PS Viewer 2 trailer. With the player's index finger not resting on the trigger until their real life finger is also rested on the trigger of the controller. So trigger discipline is accurately displayed in game. Also this weapon has uh, this cool feature where you press the trigger down you can, and once you press this down and pull it up. Now you may not be very impressed by that, but we don't know what other ways that function is being implemented yet. It could allow for communication, such as accurately pointing, thumbs up, giving someone the finger, or flipping the bird as the Americans would say. Outside of that, it could be used to interact with objects in the world, push buttons with your index finger, and many other possibilities. 
The final feature of the Sense controllers is that they are two independently tracked controllers, meaning you'll be able to have control over both hands separately in Firewall Ultra. The real impact of what that means remains to be seen, but it does have the potential to drastically change how Firewall feels and plays. What it won't change, however, is how reloading works, with Hess Barber himself confirming that manual reloading won't be in Ultra leaving us with the button press reload that we are used to. For some people, this will be disappointing news. After all, what's the point in having fancy new controllers like these if we can't have as much interaction as possible? However, the ability to reload by pressing a button opens up the door to the possibility of having some kind of peripheral that will let us fix both sense controllers together to recreate the feel of the aim controller. Other VR headsets have these kind of solutions and they've proven to be fairly popular on those ecosystems. No manual reloading also leaves the door wide open for Sony to develop a successor to the aim controller, thus making it easy to implement an aim 2 into Firewall Ultra should such a device ever actually release. But it's still too early to tell if a peripheral to fix the sense controllers together is going to be a viable replacement for an aim controller. After all, it is possible that Firewall Ultra will require two-handed full motion control inputs for certain things. Dual wielding could be possible with the sense controllers for instance, but how would that work if both of your sense controllers are fixed together? You also have to take balance into account between players playing with separate sense controllers and those using them fixed together. One area where the aim controller definitely gains a point over the sense controllers is in the number of button inputs that it has available. The sense controllers lack any form of a D-pad which the aim controller had, meaning that it's possible that devs will have to find certain workarounds to get certain functions working in-game. Maybe this is where eye tracking and the likes of that come into it. So at the end of the day, right now in September 2022, we don't know enough about Firewall Ultra to be freaking out one way or another and none of us have even held a sense controller yet. What we lose from not having an aim controller should be carefully compared to what we gain from having all the features of the sense controller. And when we learn more about the mechanics and control scheme of Firewall Ultra, we'll get a better idea of whether or not we can recreate the aim controller's two-handed feel. First Contact Entertainment have asked those concerned to keep an open mind with regards to the sense controllers, and I think that could be wise, at least for now. If you're interested in Firewall Ultra and PSVR 2, then consider subscribing to this channel for future content. With Firewall Ultra bringing back some zero-hour maps, I think the next topic might be what maps we want to see return the most. Thanks to Decepticon for letting me use his Firewall theme song remix. You can check out his other work in the description below. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Please stay ultra moist.